I, I find it very upsetting that today uh, you can turn on the news and see homosexuals being thrown off the tops of buildings. And actually, we, we homosexual LGBT people, are one of the real cutting edges in the culture war that's engulfing the entire world right now. And yet, I find it very disturbing that there isn't more outrage, more interest on the part of the gay, of the LGBT community in America when all these horrible things are happening overseas, like India recriminalized homosexuality and all the slaughter of gay people in the Mideast. I can say some groups like Rusa, which is a Russian group I march with every gay pride, they actively help people come. I met a young man that was overstaying his visa, and now he has a green card and he's going to school in Iowa. This is what we should be doing in this country, are bringing in the best and brightest of our own people from abroad and saving them from slaughter. And yet I find there's no interest or interest in that issue, no matter how many times I, I wonder if you have any ideas about that. About a month ago, I spoke at the Harvard Coop. Yes, I spoke at the Harvard Coop. You're right that. Um, and it was a small crowd. And in the very last row, there was a black guy. And he was very quiet during most of the uh, session. Uh, then at the end he got up and he had, his question was basically similar to yours. It was, well, you talked about the United States. What about the rest of the world? And I said, well, Western Europe is pretty good. Uh, Eastern Europe, we have some problems, blah, blah, blah. Um, Africa, for the most part, is a disaster. And in the Middle East, it's a disaster. And I went into a little detail, whatever. But the most important part was after uh, the session when I was signing books, he came up to me again and he said, I already bought your book. I bought it about a month ago, um, and it's really inspired me. And he says, I'm going to take it back with me. And I said, where are you taking it back uh, with you? Um, Uganda. And for those of you who don't know, Uganda, oh, he, the other part was, is that he studied um, uh, civil, not civil rights, I'm sorry. Uh, human rights law at Harvard, which has one of the best human rights law departments in the world. Um, and he wants to fight for gay rights back in Uganda. So, in some sense, we can inspire and work with others in the world. Um, something that hasn't been recorded very well is that, in a sense, while Western Europe is light years ahead of us in many respects right now, when Gay Liberation Front started, it was way behind. And the first organization to be copied worldwide was Gay Liberation Front. There became Gay Liberation Fronts all over the world uh, trying to copy what we did here. Um, maybe we got to get to the point where we're leading again. Uh, at the moment, the way that that could be done would be through this presidential election. We should make every candidate for president, primarily when it gets down to Democrat and Republican, uh, agree uh, that they will accept refugees from all of those countries that kill or harm LGBT people. That's what we can do. I, I agree with you, Randy. I mean, uh, I've always been interested in the international issue. When I lived in Wisconsin, uh, one reason I always bought, um, remember there was a, a magazine that came out of Milwaukee that was called GP Union? Yes. Gay People's Union? Yeah. And they, had, they always have a whole page that would be dedicated to what was going around the world. And that was one reason I always read that magazine, so I'd have some idea of what was happening outside the United States. Yeah, I think we can do a lot more of that in that yeah. regard. And the incident you're talking about was ISIS was throwing gay people off of buildings. They've also beheaded them, um, and there's also been strict, there are strict laws in Saudi Arabia. Some of the other Gulf states are beginning to try to curb back on their anti-gay laws, but they are very strict. Um, Uganda is horrendous. Uh, there they wanted to pass the Kill the Gays bill, um, which the Obama administration literally stopped. Um, Most Christian missionaries from the United States. Correct. And, and in Iran, you are, have to be a transsexual. If you're a homosexual, you're immediately forced into sex reassignment surgery if you yeah. want to stay in Iran. Yeah. It's sort of like what we did in the United States to gay people. We lobotomized them. Well, I gave a shout out to you know the 
long forgotten by most people gay people's union, um, but I also want to say a tip of the hat to Rex Walkner, who is a journalist who's done a lot to uh, bring uh, attention to what's happening in other countries, and to Doug Ireland, who died, I think, this past year. Oh, he did a lot to cover he was one of what was happening. Other. We, yeah. we owe a lot to our journalists who really do you know, focus on what's happening in other parts of the world.